So here I am self-quarantined because of this whole coronavirus thing. I started thinking about other things that could kill you. You know what I came up with? Medical malpractice. Imagine a world where doctors routinely kill their patients. Welcome to Toolworks General Hospital, where literally anyone is allowed to slice you open at will. Created by software Toolworks, life and death is an MS-DOS game where you're employed by possibly the worst hospital in America as an abdomen doctor. Haven't been to medical school? No problem. Just sign into this clipboard, sit in one lecture, and you're good to go. But before you start treating patients with reckless abandon, I recommend taking a look around your new workspace. Here in the staff room, which incidentally is misspelled, you'll find a few features to enhance your doctoring experience. You'll find the ample bosom nurse holding a clipboard with information on your fellow coworkers, including who works best together and who doesn't due to bad romantic relationships or failed business dealings. If you take a look around, you'll find an old MS-DOS computer complete with prompt and a notice telling you to call a number for ad space. I wonder if this is a real working number. Let's check this out. Hi, I'm trying to find Heidi. You guys have a wrong number. It's a Mercedes-Benz repair shop. We don't have anybody on Heidi's name. I'm looking at this ad right here. It says call this number for ad space and to ask for Heidi. That's the wrong number, buddy. I'm telling you it's the wrong number. Uh, so you're saying the ad has the wrong phone number? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, do you by chance know a Heidi? Do you by chance sell ad space? No, no. There is also an options menu that allows for certain settings to be changed, including the signature you pin on every one of your patient's charts. There we go. That should do it. Unfortunately, because this is an MS-DOS game, there's some lame copy protection built in, which of course is long gone. You can look up the information online, which I recommend doing, or they'll never let you cut open anyone and you'll be stuck poking patients. Yeah, that's really satisfying. They also give you only two chances before each potential surgery to find out the number to dial before the nurse takes the phone away. Lady, I'm a grown man, give me the fucking phone. Do you know how many people I've killed a day alone? But let's get on with the actual gameplay. You find some horribly disfigured patients in rooms directed to you by the ample bosom nurse, check their chart, and start palpitating their abdomens. Based on your findings, you can perform one of several options. Depending on where they hurt when you poke them, you may decide to observe the patient for intestinal gas. And yes, they came to the hospital because they have gas. The diagnoses can range anywhere from that to bacterial infections or kidney stones, none of which are interesting to your gameplay experience. But once you find a case of appendicitis or an aortic aneurysm, you're in for a fun time slicing and dicing. For an appendix removal, first you'll need to poke them repeatedly. Again, really satisfying. After which, you'll order an x-ray to check for kidney stones. Once you've confirmed it's not that, it's time to open them up. Let's grab that scalpel and... I know surgery is scary, but come on, lady. Turns out there's a step-by-step -step procedure for the surgery, and one of the first steps is to put your patient under. You'd think this kind of stupidity would immediately get you sacked from any credible hospital, but nope. You attend a seminar, they tell you not to do that again, and you're right back to killing patients. Of course, because you've been poorly trained, you're going to break a few eggs before you make that omelet. And again, you'll attend a seminar and be allowed right back out onto the floor to jeopardize the life of others. Once you get the hang of the procedure, however, the surgery really isn't that hard. Mostly it's just knowing where to cut, making sure you inject them with atropine or lidocaine depending on their EKG at the time, and not letting them bleed to death. This does take some trial and error, and as you know in the medical profession, there's nothing better than on-the-job training. After you've completed your appendectomy without flaws, you now have the option to cut people open to put grafts in the aortic artery in the event of an aneurysm. They'll throw you some curveballs, and you'll be expected to diagnose some other maladies in between, such as arthritis. But at some point, you'll finally get to throw on the ultra scan and see if there's a six centimeter mash you can cut out. Unfortunately, this surgery is significantly harder than the last. Not because there's more complexity to the surgery, it's pretty similar to the appendectomy in many ways. But the room for error is so small, it's almost impossible not to kill the patient. 
I played this for hours, even consulting a walkthrough or two, trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. I'd complete my surgery only to be told I had not completed it correctly and I would have to go to medical training. I could not complete this surgery flawlessly, not when I was in 7th grade science class and not now. I guess I'm never going to be a real doctor. <sighs> But if you're successful in your aortic surgery, you'll receive the certificate, which obviously I did not, saying that you're fucking legit and can treat patients in real life. Well, wait, they tell you at the beginning you should not treat patients based on a video game. Who knew? Granted, this game's difficulty is just a bit too much for my brain to handle, but it's almost impossible not to have at least a good laugh or two while playing this game. Hell, I just like to carve cuss words into the patient's skin. But for a computer game from a simpler time, this was honestly pretty incredible. Considering that Super Mario Bros. came out only a few years before this, I don't know what else you could ask for if you're 12 years old and want to secretly hurt people because you were bullied your entire life. There are other versions of this game with better graphics, and sequels eventually were made, but I'll let other YouTubers like LGR tell the tale on those. My experiences with this game are singularly with the MS-DOS version, and that's the only one I'm qualified to share. But I still encourage you to check them out for yourself. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe so I can continue making mediocre videos like these. 